Ouch. Hello guys and welcome back to some more Dragon Age Origins. Uh, this is where we were, right? So, all the mad guys in here went after us from in here. But at least we took care of them. So that's something. That leads to a new area, so let's not go there yet. And I wanted to explore first. Uh, I think I already have one of those, so that should be fine. Oh! Valina, hello! How come you're hiding in here? I mean, I, I guess... I can guess why. But... Y you know. Please, don't hurt me. Well, that's a, that's a very weird reaction. Stupid girl. Come down, I'm not going to hurt you. I, I'm sorry. I'm so frightened. These monsters are everywhere. My my name's Belena. The Arlesa's maid. I, is she... All right. What happened to everyone? Uh, Valina, the smith's daughter? You know my father. I want to go back to the village. Is there a way out of here? There's a tunnel leading out of the dungeon. But, but the monsters! I mean, I have killed them all. I could guide her. There's no option to guide her. I've killed most I'll of them. Find my way. I can run fast, and I know the castle. Thank you. Let me follow you, just in case. Uh, she's already gone. Well, all right. If she dies, it's not on me anymore. I can't guide her, so... Uh. Uh, let's continue then to the other area. Let's open this door up and... See what's in here. Give me this. Thank you. Wait, actually, let me just upgrade him and then save it. Dexterity. These and cells are for all classes. All right. So you will need. So, willpower is actually something I need for magic, too. I do need him to have more health, right? Uh, health and resilience. Higher directly increase the amount of damage a character can take. Yeah. And you don't have much now, do you? Uh, I mean, this one is good. And I can give you another thingy here. There you go. And he can automatically use the tactic slot, right? Yeah, defender. Yeah, the normal one is four. So, uh, if they get five, they're good. They can use more stuff. Yeah, I went to fourth. Then we save right about here. Who wants in here? Total leather armor. I mean, it's the same that I already have, so no. Thank you. The base. Thank you very much for that. 
Lifestone, sure. So we got you back here. Right. Deal braces those? This looks like can be a gift. Yeah, I don't need all the bows. Let's get rid of this and get this one. All right, Ranger Fourth. Redcliffe Castle. Uh, how many are there? Because this is gonna be awful. It's a revenant. Okay. Ouch. Yeah, I just got owned. Big time. I can't, I can't defeat him. Like, my goodness. I might actually have to flee again. Uh, can I get rid of this one? I think so, yeah. Let's get rid of you and then take you. All right, let's continue onward then. Actually, first need to open this up. The map say it says in here, huh? All right, let's go back out. And then retreat all the way back. Because I... Uh, we, we can't do anything. Good. We're still way too weak. Key required. Yeah, we're not going to get in there. Yeah, good luck, dogs. We're not messing with you. All right. I need to go back to that village ASAP. Okay, let's see. I got a gift. Who would that gift be for? I'm guessing it's for the, the big guy if it's a steel bracelet. It only makes sense. Right? Yeah, steel bracelets. The uh, exclusive carvings of warhounds on them. Warhounds? These steel bracelets have exquisite carvings of warhounds on them. Yeah, I don't know who would enjoy these then. Warhounds? Do you think he would enjoy them? Is 
that for me. Really? Wow. I'm... Wow. They seem to like it. Based on blood decision and gifts, high approval provides combat bonuses and possible romance options, while low approval may lead a party member to destroy you. Okay, yeah, so we can get combat bonuses. The more she, um, she wants to fight, the more she likes me. And that is good, I think. I do have to talk to the smith guy. My Belayla returned. She told me of your daring rescue. I can't begin to tell you how grateful I am. Take this. A reward for your deed. It's dwarven made and should serve you well. I mean, I don't need a reward. Keep it. That's even kinder of you. Thank you again. I'm forever in your debt. Thank right. you, kind sir. I'd never have been able to return to my father if it wasn't for you. All right, cool. Now let me see, let me see. We need to run away and retreat. These are the bodies, huh? Best keep back. This is unpleasant work it is. Yeah, I can see that. But well, you tried and did your best. The deep dark before dawn's first light. Yes. Caravan down, uh, except brothers and sons. Sister Raina reports on the behalf of her neighbors. Uh, have south made more difficult to communication through f official to any who were able to find loved ones. So they'll be able to entrust the board. Uh, when I come in at Thames, while the reports I have been no doubt from exaggeration, the observed creatures assaulting Raycliffe trouble me greatly. If we are to properly combat these unnatural agents and prevent their recurrence, the mages bound to my servant require carefully prepared samples of flesh to study. Alright, uh, Sister Rena has heard reports of imminent tragedy. A runner has brought my dying news for group. Someone who still have the ability to deliver these people. I can only offer the honest credit treatment to myself of the Chantry. Seems eternal, but know that the sun always rises. Okay. Sun always rises indeed. But I'm gonna have to take my leave from this area for now. Can't do everything all at once. Oh, wait, this is the wrong way. As soon as I find the right direction, I will do that. I don't think I remember the way out of the village. Windmill house, world map. World map is all the way up there. It's back and across the bridge and then out. Opposite side though. Now with this I should be able to get back again. So let's talk about your mother. I'd rather talk about your mother. Well, there's nothing to talk about. And besides, isn't your mother a scary witch who lives in the middle of a forest? Much more interesting. To you, perhaps. You would find the moss growing upon a stone interesting. You know what's more interesting than that? Apostates. Mages outside of the tower. That's illegal, you know. You did not read that in a book somewhere, did you? I hope the small letters did not strain you over much. Oh, we could not talk about your mother. That works for me. Oh, we could not. Okay, this home. Yeah, and then if I go to the left, I should also leave. Okay, good, good. Alright, that's the way to 
The castle, yeah, okay. That's not open yet. One thing's for sure though, my party has gained a lot of XP. I lied to you, you know, about why I left Ole. Excuse me, this is so sudden that I did I miss something? Uh, why? I didn't feel like talking about it then. What happened to me? Maybe it will affect us. Maybe not. But you should know. I came to Ferelden and the Chantry because I was being hunted in Orle. I mean, hunted. What for? Oh, whoops! I I, I misclicked. <laughs> hunted. What for? <laughs> I was framed, betrayed by someone I thought I knew and could trust, Marjolaine. She was my mentor and friend. She taught me the bardic arts, how to enchant with words and songs, to carry myself like a highborn lady, to blend in as a servant. The skills I learned, I used to serve her, my bardmaster, because I loved her and because I enjoyed what I did. And how did she betray you? You can say it was my fault. There was a man I was sent to kill. I was to bring Marjolaine everything he carried. I don't know who this man was. She gave me a name and a description, and I hunted him down. I found documents on his body, sealed documents. You opened them, didn't you? My curiosity got the better of me. Something told me that I needed to know what was in those letters. Marjolaine had been selling all kinds of information about Orle to other countries, Nevara and Antiva among others. It was treason. So it's just Orle? My life has barred, taught me that my loyalties should be kept fluid. My concern was not that she was a traitor, but that her life would be in danger if she was caught. Orle has been at war with so many countries, it takes a harsh view of such things. As I later discovered. I mean, most countries don't appreciate treason. I should have left well alone, but I didn't. I had to tell Marjolaine I feared for her life. She brushed aside my concern. She admitted her guilt, but said it was in the past. That is why the documents had to be destroyed, she said. I believed her. I kept believing up till the moment they showed me the documents, altered by her hand. To make me look the traitor. And who's they? The Orlesian guards. They captured me. Did terrible things to make me confess and reveal my conspirators. It was a traitor's punishment I endured. And at the end of it, all that awaited me was eternity in an unmarked grave. So how did you get out? The skills Marjolaine taught me were good for something, at least. I broke free when I saw the opportunity. I did not seek Marjolaine out. If she thought I was coming for her, she would have me caught again. And so you came to for Ferelding to Lothering. I was tempted to confront her. I was furious, betrayed. But what could I do against her? And so I fled to Ferelden, to the Chantry and the Maker. Ferelden protected my person, and the Maker saved my soul. And that is the reason I am here. The real reason. No more lies between us, at least in this. In this? I thought you were lying against something else. Okay. Thank you for trusting me with this. It feels good to have this off my chest. Thank you for listening and understanding. Elena, oh boy, you're gonna be a handful, aren't you? Yes, something you need? Can you teach me to be a bard? Um, I don't think you have the correct aptitude. I could give you some pointers, though. You may be able to pass them on to someone you know. Let's just go over there, away from the others, for safety, yes? I expect there shall be daggers flying about willy-nilly for a time. All right, cool. Unlock specialization, bud. Yes. Something you need? Uh, I should talk to you about something. Yes. 
What's on your mind? Uh, any tales? Of course I do. I love stories far too much to keep them to myself. Everyone should be able to benefit from them, I think. There was another story I wanted to hear. Which one? Oh, do you know anything about the Dalish? Well, that's start different stuff. Do you know anything about Andraste? Andraste was the maker's chosen. The maker had long since abandoned the world when the sound of her singing turned his ear. Beauty, grace and wisdom enraptured him and he offered to take her from this flawed world to become his divine bride. But Andraste had an earthly husband and would not forsake him. Instead, she beseeched the maker to return to his people once more. So earnest was her plea that the maker was moved and promised that he would create a paradise on earth if all abandoned their false gods and turned once more to him. And this is why Andraste began her exalted march on the idolaters of the Tevinter Imperium. The Maker granted her his powers with which to smite her enemies. Andraste brought the Imperium to its knees, and her victories converted many to the worship of the Maker. And do you know anything about the... Oh wait, how did Andraste die? Alas, it was the frailties of men that betrayed and killed Andraste. Her earthly husband, Mafarath, a chieftain of the Alamari tribes himself, grew jealous as his wife's popularity and influence overshadowed his own. She was also revered as the Maker's betrothed, and Mafarath began to see their own bond waning in significance as Andraste became ever more devoted to the Maker. Out of envy and spite, Mafarath made a pact with the Archon Hysterion of Tevinta, allowing his beloved Andraste to be ambushed and captured. Andraste was burned at the stake in Minrathus, the capital of Tevinta. But Tevinta has a chantry, doesn't it? The Tevinta chantry claims that in Andraste's last moments, Hysarion's heart softened and he heard the voice of the Maker telling him to end her suffering. He plunged his sword into her heart, and as her blood washed over his hands, he became one of the faithful. Dissenters said that the Archon only converted because he could not stem the tide of Andraste's cult, and was forced to do so to stay in power. We will never know for sure. Pretty cool. Like, so she's happy if I just listen to the stories? That's an easy way to gain her approval. Something you need? All right. Um, talk to you about something. Yes. What's on your mind? Traveling minstrel I tales. I love stories um, far too much to keep them to myself. Not Everyone again. Just tell me about the darkspawn. Chantry law says it is man's pride that created the darkspawn. In ages past, the mages of the Tevinder Imperium ruled much of the world we know. In their pride, they thought their magics invincible and imagined that they were greater than the Maker himself. So thinking, they invaded his golden city, planning to take it for themselves and depose their own creator. But they were impure and full of sin. And it is with the sin that they tainted the golden city, corrupting it forever. The Maker cursed them and cast them from his sight. Wherever they went, they spread the taint of their sin. Any land that was touched by the taint became blighted and would suffer no life. Instead, the darkspawn arose to torment us and remind us of our hubris. Again, again, another story Which I wanted one? to hear. Um, uh, do you know anything about the Dalish? I have heard a little about how the elves gained their freedom from the Tevinter Imperium. When Andraste began her exalted march against the Imperium, the elves joined her cause to fight their masters. The great elven leader, Shatan, born in captivity, rose up to lead his people. He foresaw a future where the elves were free. Shatan was killed when Andraste was betrayed, but the elves continued to fight, eventually breaking free of the Imperium. The elves claimed the dales in the south, and settled there in a land of their own. And it didn't last. The elves lived in the dells for centuries. 
they resurrected the worship of the elven gods and would allow the building of no chantry. This angered the chantry, and the hostility between the two factions finally broke out in open war. The chantry says the elves struck first, but I do not know whether to believe it. The chantry declared a wholly exalted march against the elves, named for Andraste's similar march against De Winter. During the exalted march of the Dales, the elven cities were sacked and the elven state completely dissolved. Some of the elves bitterly accepted their fates and surrendered to human rule, living in the human cities as second-class citizens. But others, still fiercely proud of their heritage, refused to bow to the humans and instead became homeless wanderers. There were the elves of the Dales, the Dalish. Okay, that's interesting. Let's move on. Cool. Plus one rating. I mean, it's better than nothing. What about you, Alistair? What's what up? Do you need? I need to ask you Out something. Can we teach others to be a Templar? I suppose I could. But I really would rather not. When the Grand Cleric let Duncan recruit me, she made me swear never to reveal Templar secrets outside of the Chantry. I'd rather not go back on my word. Very well, I respect your word. Ask me later, perhaps. Maybe I'll change uh -huh. my mind. This is not something small you're asking, after all. I never... You know... What do you need? Okay, I mean, apparently you liked it. Ask away. Something... Uh, tell me about the Grey Wardens. Such as they are. Never mind. About the Grey Wardens, anyhow. Fair enough. What do you need? Uh, never mind. I need nothing. I'm good. It's cool. Don't worry about it. Then I'm gonna check out on her, and uh, then we're gonna be done for this video. Yes. It's got something cat, personal. So it is as good a time as any. You discuss, discuss us. Away. Never mind. He doesn't really care about it. Okay. I mean. All right, she doesn't care about the kiss, I guess. So uh, it's cool. Everything you yes. want to say? Nah. As you wish. All right, that is also going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, click that like button. If you want to see more from me, search for 8,000 with the subscribe button. And I hope to see you in the next one. And as always, stay awesome.